A glance at the calendar for these days reveals three things. Today is the third day of Christmas, part of those 12 days that go from Christmas Day, December 25th, to Epiphany, January 6th, when the visit of the wise men is often celebrated, a symbol that the Messiah is revealed to the Gentiles. Secondly, a new year is about to begin, 2021. And thirdly, we are in a new season. Winter began on December 21st. We've already had one heavy snow, but soon the sun began to shine. Having made these three observations, let's pray together. Dear God, we know that in our society, Christmas is past. December 25th came and went. But in the church, we still celebrate the 12 days of Christmas. We ponder your love as revealed in the birth of Jesus. And we still hear the message of peace on the earth. We pray for that peace to be a reality in our hearts. And we pause to share with you those things that take away that peace in our lives, the distresses of our hearts, those things that concern us. We think of the approaching new year and acknowledge that the challenges of 2020 have sapped the energy of many. We pray now for those who have cared for others, for healthcare workers, for researchers who have worked on COVID-19 vaccines, for those others who are labeled essential workers, from the people who ensure we have food on the table to those who help us communicate with our loved ones. And Lord, as we experience the season of winter, we turn to you, thanking you for the beauty of the season. We hear in our memories the words of the carol, the world in solemn stillness lay, to hear the angels sing. And we take this moment to praise you for the glistening of the snow and sunlight, the flights of the birds of winter, the loving relationships with others that sanctify our days, and the abundant blessings that fill our lives and for which now we silently thank you. And now we embrace the words of the carol which conclude, For lo, the days are hastening on. By prophet bards foretold. When with the ever-circling years comes round the age of gold. When the new heaven and earth shall own the Prince of Peace, their King. And the whole world send back the song, which now the angels sing. And all God's people say, Amen.